Our country has a perception that more money leads to more corruption. However, we must all understand the significance of the mandate given by the people in the recent presidential election. The citizens have chosen a new team, and this decision is a determined one, not a routine political power shift. It reflects a significant and deliberate choice by the people to entrust power to a new group. Therefore, we have a responsibility to uphold and protect the aspirations embedded in this mandate. When the people make such a decision, it is influenced by many factors. Among these, two main reasons stand out. Firstly, the public is often dissatisfied with their interactions with the state service. Hence, we have a duty to create a state service that efficiently meets the needs of the citizens. The sector frequently interacts with the public, making it crucial for you to establish an environment that allows you to perform your duties effectively and without causing difficulties for the people. Secondly, we must treat every cent of public money with the same care as we would sacred property. We have no right to waste or misuse public funds. This principle is part of our mandate. All of us, including myself, are accountable to the people. Therefore, I urge you to set aside past actions and accusations. We will address those separately. From now on, I need your support to fulfill this mandate. As politicians, we must be accountable to the people and create a new political culture in our country. This means acting in accordance with the promises made during elections. The era of deceiving the public during elections and then reverting to old political practices must end. We need to establish a political culture that holds us accountable to the people. The integrity of this mandate, its goals and the expectations of the people place a significant responsibility on you as public officials. We seek your support in this endeavor. We will stand by you in all your rightful actions within your official duties. However, if any misconduct occurs, we will not hesitate to take necessary action. The meeting was attended by Professor Udayanga Himapala, Secretary of the Ministry of Power and Energy, along with officials from the Ceylon Electricity Board, the Ceylon Petroleum Cooperation and other senior officials under the Ministry of Power and Energy.